Hello everyone, welcome back once again. Today we complete our 10th book of the 52 weeks, 52 books challenge. Uh, honestly, the book that I wanted to read for you this week was one that was related to finance and which explained a lot of important, amazing financial concepts in a very simple way. But since there were too many amazing concepts and I did not want to rush through it, we will be discussing that book in the upcoming video. But today, I'm going to share with you my learnings from one of the best books ever written on communication skills, and that is How to Talk to Anyone by Lyle Lowndes. Now, this book is for anyone and everyone who finds it difficult to approach and speak to strangers. Especially if you're meeting a group of people for the first time, this book will help you make a place for yourself in that group in the most easiest ways and quickly help you become everyone's favorite. So if you want to master the art of communication and become everyone's favorite in your personal and professional relationships, then this book is for you. And just like always, in case if you wish to buy this book, I have pasted a link in the description given below. You simply need to click on this link and buy this book from Amazon. Now, if you are ready, let's quickly move on to our learnings from the book. How to Talk to Anyone says that the best way to break the ice and initiate a conversation with anyone, especially if that anyone is a stranger, is through a flooding smile. A genuine smile is an amazing conversation starter and helps the opposite person feel warm and get comfortable with you. Now, maintaining a good eye contact makes the opposite person feel that you are interested in the conversation happening between the two of you. The more you make them feel that you are genuinely interested in them will in turn get them genuinely interested in you. You know that seeking attention is our very nature. You, me, everyone seeks attention. So when someone seeks attention, give it to them. The same kind of attention that you would give a baby while cuddling and playing with it. Have you observed yourself fidgeting while speaking or listening to someone? Maybe fidgeting with your fingers or say with a pen or something like repeatedly scratching your face. Observe yourself or ask someone to observe you while you are in a conversation to identify any fidgety action that you are prone to and then consciously try to overcome it. Fidgeting makes you lose credibility and the interest of the person you're speaking with. Now, if you're ever supposed to address a large crowd, say in an auditorium, visualize yourself doing it before you actually do it. If possible, go to that place, move around the hall, speak on the mic, listen to your voice. Get familiar with the place because familiarity breeds confidence and trust. This will help you give your best on the D-Day. Now, the next two techniques are my favorite techniques that I implement regularly with everyone I meet. First, you must actively find something to appreciate about the person you meet. It makes the opposite person to start liking you instantly. Nothing can beat the magic of a genuine compliment. Compliments are the most widely used, most easiest and my all time favorite conversation starters. And secondly, asking them, have we met before or is it that we are meeting for the first time? Now, this technique was truly a face saver because in my previous organization, I led a team of around 8,000 consultants and honestly speaking, it was extremely difficult to remember each one of them. So whenever I used to meet anyone that I didn't remember, this was a technique that I used as an icebreaker to begin our conversation. Now, this one is extremely important. You need to learn to be a word detective. You know, Every one of us has some specific words that we frequently repeat during any conversation. So you must pay close attention to find out if there is any such word being repeated frequently by the opposite person. And once you have identified that word, consciously try repeating the same in your conversation with him. This will help you create a strong bonding and rapport with the opposite person at the subconscious level. Now remember, whenever you are speaking with your potential customers, interesting nahi banna hai interested banna hai main ye main wo meri company mera product meri service main 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 nahi karna hai samne wale mein interest lena hai samne wale ki samasya uski pareshani uski ichcha uski zarurat uske goals janne mein interest lena hai agar aapne ye kar diya na to automatically aap aur aapke product mein uska interest ban jayega parroting and paraphrasing are also techniques that help to create a strong rapport and build trust at the subconscious level do you know that everyone needs someone who can listen to them? And the best way to make anyone like you is by giving them what they want. And that is a patient listening. Ask a question on a topic that interests the opposite person or jab wo bolna shuru kar de, then simply listen. Remember to keep yourself updated. Being updated with the latest news can help you enter or get along in any conversation in the most easiest ways. That's interesting. Tell me more about it. 
ये एक बहुत ही बढ़िया लाइन है टू मेक द ऑपोजिट पर्सन स्पीक वेन यू बोथ आर एट लॉस ऑफ वर्ड्स और यूर फेसिंग डिफिकल्टी इन फाइंडिंग अ न्यू कॉमन टॉपिक टू स्पीक ऑन अब इस वाले पेज पर आपको जितने पॉइंट्स दिख रहे हैं ना ऑल दीज पॉइंट हैव बीन ब्यूटिफुली एक्सप्लेन इन द बुक दीज टेक्निक्स मेक द ऑपोजिट पर्सन लाइक यू इंस्टेंटली एंड फील स्ट्रॉन्गली कनेक्टेड विद यू एट द सबकॉन्शियस लेवल टू अंडरस्टैंड दीज टेक्निक्स डीपली एंड टू बी एबल टू अप्लाई दैम यू मस्ट रीड द बुक विदाउट फेल Now let's quickly move on to the six points checklist. This is a very important framework that you must prepare yourself upon whenever you are headed for an important meeting. Who am I going to meet and what do I know about him or his business? When should I arrive? It's always good to arrive before time. What material do I need to carry with myself and why is the meeting being held? What is the agenda of the meet? What is the objective or the outcome intended from the meeting? where is the meeting going to be held or how is the meeting going to be held through phone is it a physical meet or a virtual one and how am i going to follow up after the meet you must be well prepared on all these six pointers whenever you're headed for an important meeting now those were just few of the many amazing learning that this book has to offer as i said if you wish to master the art of communication and become everyone's favorite in your personal and professional relationships then this book is for you now as i previously said if you wish to buy this book you can simply click on the link given in the description below and buy this book from amazon most importantly do let me know if these videos are of any help so that i can continue making these videos to the best of my abilities and make sure that you subscribe to the channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated with all our upcoming videos